it's really important to understand these terms that we're using, uh, terms that are coming from traditional science and terms that are kind of evolving as we're talking about unified physics and understanding the model that Nassim and the researchers are really pioneering. And, um, and so the idea of there being a vacuum in a field and are they different is, is a really good question because it really relates to how do we understand what these terms mean. Um, and so, you know, the idea that the concept of the vacuum comes from uh, a longstanding tradition in physics that uh, when you go out into deep space, there are not too many atoms and molecules out there. It's very, very dispersed when it comes to what we call the material universe. And therefore, it seems like it's empty in between. And then they called that, well, that's the vacuum. There's nothing there. There's just a few little hydrogen atoms floating around here and there, basically. And um, that has been held to be the, the concept as well as the term that has defined and described what that empty space is. And of course, as we have been learning and coming to understand with greater um, depth and insight is that in, in fact that empty space is not empty and then of course in unified physics it's and also you know coming from traditional understanding in physics it's a it's a highly energetic highly dense medium of energy and a better term than vacuum would be the plenum because um, it's 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 filled with energy you know we have our observable universe represents about 4% of what it takes to have the universe work the way it does. You know, we've got dark matter and dark energy that comprise the, the, next, the, the rest of the 96%. And so this 4% that we experience as the entire observable universe is just a, a small fraction of what's actually going on. And so obviously there's a source for the rest of that dark energy and dark matter that is much greater than we have attributed to the to the what so-called vacuum. Um, 